Fundamentally, the first thing I need to do is change the culture of our local government. It's a phrase Democrat Jim Merritt has echoed throughout his campaign. And two weeks before Election Day, we asked him what that change would look like if he were in the mayor's seat. You change the culture, you get people to believe in the city, we then start getting job growth, our tax base will grow. Then we can afford what really is the essence, is our, our public safety, our social net, taking care of homeless issues. To address its homeless crisis, the city recently spent several million dollars to build an enclosed homeless camp. Merritt thinks the money could have been used differently. What if we would have taken that and given $500,000 to 10 agencies and then helped figure out how to work better together? We may have been more efficient with things and helping more people. This is my home. This is not just a place where I did business. His opponent, former Councilwoman Victoria Woodards, says city leaders also need to address some root causes. I mean, we talk about homelessness and in our community, I mean, mental health plays a real big role. Woodard says she supports a new behavioral health hospital that broke ground last month, but says there needs to be more. Washington makes 48 out of 50 states as it relates to having enough psychiatric beds, beds. And we, and Pierce County is even lower than the national average. So we've got work to do. Both candidates would agree one of the top issues for Tacoma is bringing jobs to the area. We have to get those people that believe in this town and stay here. I want to be the mayor that makes sure that we have opportunities in this community so everyone can fulfill their very own destiny here in the place that we call the city of destiny. In Tacoma, Jenna Hanchard, King 5 News.